Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by. If this is your first visit, please consider clicking on that subscribe button. I'm currently set up at McCown Valley, Whitney Lake. You can see it right down there. But we're done here. We have, we've spent a, a little bit of time here and we're ready to go on to the next adventure. Not too far away. We're, we're just going to get back out on the main road, go through downtown Whitney, and we're going to go pay a visit to Loafers Bend West on Whitney Lake, right by the dam. So let's go. Hop in the, hop in the RV, load up Little Red, and we're going to go to Loafers Bend West. Let's go. Well, here we are, Loafers Bend West. There wasn't any driving footage because I failed to turn on the driving cam and it was only about a 10 minute drive anyway through the, the town of Whitney. So no fancy opening for this one, but here we are, Loafers Bend West, site number W46. And as you can see, we're very convenient to the restrooms uh but no no real neighbors on this side kind of close to the neighbor on that side but that's okay because they're looking at my butt not me looking at theirs this road leads to the boat ramp so there's probably going to be some boater driving traffic think there's lake access over there i don't know i have to go explore that but let's do a site tour real quick it's gravel, which gave us some concern because it's kind of muddy back here. We made sure we put down our yellow jack pads just to be safe. Sight was yeah, it's kind of level. Had to use two blocks on the back. You can see the blocks are kind of kind of sinking in a little bit. We're 30 with water. But we have a beautiful forest for our front yard. Decomposed granite patio. Nice heavy duty steel structure in case it starts raining again. Barbecue cooker. Steel table. If you're gonna sit on that, make sure you get a cushion because you'll get waffle butt otherwise. And of course we have a fire ring. And it does appear that there's also the amphitheater in our front yard. Either that or it's a failed attempt at a Stonehenge rec rec assembly, a, st a Stonehenge structure. So the park is, is relatively empty. There's a playground right over there too. How about that? I can go slide. Now, we, we, we kind of did this impromptu, <clears throat> hoping to get better. We didn't have a very good cell connection where we were, and rather than just changing sides, I said, well, let's just, let's just go to the next campground a day early. So we're here a day early, kind of did some sight shuffling from where we were going to be to where we are now. And we're here for two nights. And that's a good thing because this is a pretty big campground. But I think I'm done for the day. We'll pick this up tomorrow. We're supposed to have some sunshine. So that'll be much better for going to see the stuff anyway. Stay tuned. More to come. Loafers Bend West. Lake Whitney. Whitney Lake. There's quite a bit of shoreline, but 
most of it is not real accessible at least not while the water's where it is now on that side of the park it's almost all straight down cliff kind of action and then over here of course you've got the boat ramp but there's not this this is not really intended as a as a day use area we're going to go visit that matter of fact we're going to go visit that as soon as i get back to the truck but i wanted to show you the boat ramp and there's this cool house up on the other side of the lake on the bluff that looks like a castle and check this out how would you like to live in that bad boy that's something else all right let's go see some more stuff loafers bend west and loafers bend east is over there of course you probably can't see it very well camera doesn't zoom in that far but right about there Site number 19 is right there. Even better, on this peninsula, we have screen shelters. But this looks intriguing to me, only I don't see any way to get a little small watercraft in there. I don't know. Well, let's go check out a Let's go check out a screen shelter. So number 13 is interesting because it is also a screened shelter. Look at the, how this thing is built, man. This is, this is a tornado proof. <laughs> no, not really, because it's got the, got the screen. And it seems that uh, rain will blow in but you can keep the bugs out while you're you know i think this is really neat because you could use this as an outdoor living space with your rv parked right here beside i mean that's a that's a huge pull through and it seems kind of level right up here of course there's no place to plug your rv in other than inside there's no outdoor power Shelter number 13. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Loafers Bend West would be a great place for you to host your rally or gathering or family reunion. We've got a really sturdy group pavilion and there are sites all the way around. Not exactly sure how many, but they're power and water RV sites. I don't know that I'd want to, not sure I'd want to be down here during the summer, but there you have it. Let's go see some more stuff. Well, if you're camping at Loafers Bend West or Loafers Bend East for that matter, and you're having trouble finding a place to get in the water to go swim, then come over to the Loafers Bend day use area, and it is literally right below the dam. Not so much a there's not really a beach here, but on the other side, and we'll we'll swing over the hill and check that out. There's also a great big play structure, so if your kids are driving you nuts and you don't want them swimming, you can go there. It looks like there's a walking path along the dam so that you can get out to the really deep water and fish because you can't get past the you're not supposed to pass the buoys in a boat and of course there we're seeing the fairy tale castle again now about a decade ago there was a house on lake whitney that actually fell into lake whitney because it was built on the cliff overlooking the lake and the cliff broke off 
with that in mind would you really want to own that just saying all right let's go see some more stuff some sunlight after four days of gray and gloomy loafers bend recreation area now, so if you're camped at loafers bend west and you want to really you want to go swim you want to take your kids down to the lake so they can go swimming this is the approved swim beach this is the day use area it's not directly connected at one point that road that right there that actually goes into loafers bend west but it's closed off a lot of these roads are marked off because of the high water, but you can picnic under the trees over there. There's a public access boat ramp over here with a big parking lot. Looks like they've got some soccer fields, volleyball goals, volleyball nets, but of course nobody's playing volleyball right now and then I think that's a large group shelter pavilion up there all right I think we're gonna go see if we can there's there's a place below the dam as well so we'll go check that out it's bend west and you want to get in a good workout over in the day use area loafers bend day use area they actually have a a fitness trail you can see it on google earth but you really can't tell what it is you can see it's a track but they've got list of exercises and a and a track just make sure you you watch out for rattlesnakes all right let's go see some more stuff so now we're down below the dam. The water is really high down here right now because of all the rain that we've had here lately. We'll see if we can get to that side over there. Right, more to come across the dam. That's what I did. We were over there exploring Loafer's Bend. But I wanted to give you a, a, the full exposure to Whitney Lake. This is Soldier's Bluff. This is a small primitive park. Some primitive campsites where you can tent camp. If you have the inclination and the desire, you can actually walk across the dam or walk out on the dam from the Soldier's Bluff parking lot. They also have restrooms here. In case you gotta go potty. But those stairs right there will take you up to the sidewalk. Let's go a little ways out. We're gonna go to the, to the floodgates. Not too far. Kind of unnerving with the cars coming across. Not to mention loud. Here we are, along with the cacti. That's a long way down couple hundred feet I've crossed to the I've crossed to the downriver side of the dam 
so we can look over the edge here and see all the a massive amounts of water coming out of the pump house or not pump house that's an electrical generation facility and they've built a new one i think that's a gas fired that's a long way down all right let's go see some more stuff <laughs> all right I just saw this this marker on the side of the gates now those gates go to the uh, the electrical generation facility and on the other side of those are the, the emergency spillways so here's the footage of that measurement Five hundred feet. Holy cow. I had no idea it was that deep. Dang. Whitney Dam. We are just above the powerhouse. According to that. Whitney Powerhouse. We're not gonna go down, but you can actually go down there and fish. That's a long flight of stairs, and I've already climbed one. I'm not gonna climb another. Now, according to the internet, this lake is only 100 feet deep. I don't know about all that. I mean, that down there shows that it's deeper than that. That shows, uh, I think, 600. 600 feet right there I don't know I need to find an expert on that subject all right I'm, I'm about I'm getting damn tired I mean I'm getting tired of damn all right let's go find something else
it is days like today that we we as RVers as campers in general these are the days that we 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 want this this is the kind of kind of weather I mean the Sun is periodically coming out there's big white puffy clouds in the sky so we get shadows moving across the the landscape we can wear our shorts short sleeve sh shorts and short sleeve shirts we can be comfortable just hanging out sorry we can be comfortable hanging out with the exception of the mosquitoes and i gotta tell you the mosquitoes here they're big and they're hungry so make sure you bring your bug spray to loafers bend west this is a really nice nice campground yappy said her parents used to bring her here when she was a little one i don't, I don't know if i've ever been to this one with my family when i was a little one but it's very nice not a lot of water access here but over at the day use area there's plenty if this is your first visit and you've stuck with me to this point thank you so much I, i'm truly honored by that i hope you consider clicking on the subscribe button give me one of those thumbs up and blast me out across your social media i'm, I'm truly honored that you're you're here and with me at this point and for those of you who have been following along man that's why, why that's why i'm doing what i'm doing that's why i get to go to all these cool places Thank you for that. And for my patrons, you guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?